Hello folks, welcome back to Easy Finances. Uh, today we're gonna be dealing with a topic in the personal finances realm, and it's how to set up a high yield savings account. And welcome back. As a disclaimer, I have to say that I am not a financial advisor, and if you have a specific situation that uh, you are worried about or something to deal with your personal finances, then get with a financial advisor. And this is just advice for my daughter, and that's primarily why I'm putting it out there, but I'm hoping it'll help other people as well. Introduction and disclaimer out of the way. We see our uh, browser here. And what I would like you to do is go to nerdwallet.com. I think it's a great site. It gives you a lot of information on finances. And uh, you can read articles. You can uh, look into each one of the different categories that we have here. And I'm going to be covering some of these categories in uh, future videos. But it is a great overall site. So if you get it and go ahead and save it and put it as a favorite or something in your browser, that would be great. But what I want to show you today is the savings accounts. So... You can either click on the pig or you can go up here to banking and hit savings accounts. We're going to click on the pig. Just clicking on a pig is always fun, right? All right. And in here, you'll have a little article that tells the best high yield online savings accounts uh, for 2019, December. But more importantly, they have the offers down below. And they say offers, but really, you could go to any one of these websites and find them. But NerdWallet puts it all together for you right here. I'm sure they get a kickback from people clicking on these links and stuff as far as advertising. Um, but you can go down a list. You can see all kinds of different rates and what the minimum balances are to start. And that just means the minimum amount you have to put into the account to start. And the rates are going to be you know, annual percentage yield, which means how much of a percent return they will give you on the amount of money you put in there. It used to be that 2% was really good, but interest rates keep going down. So now we find ourselves at, at these rates, 1.75, 1.7. There are some 1.85s, which are pretty good still, honestly. But uh, the one that I want to particularly bring your attention to is the Barclays account. Now, there's several reasons why I, uh, I like this account. And one of them is the ease of use. I think it's got a great setup as far as the uh, interface and it's got a zero minimum balance 1.7 is about average on on the returns you can see you could get a couple other places with better returns but this is the one I use and uh, and I, I would say the primary reason honestly for me is because the CDs that they have and the way you can set them up in the account so I have a total of 25 accounts with them and that's one savings account and 24 CDs and if you watch my first video, you'll see I, I kind of uh, go into why it's important to have a savings account and then a bunch of CDs. But uh, we're going to cover CDs in, in different videos and future videos. And that just means certificate of deposit. So if we click on it, it'll take you right to their site through, you know, giving NerdWallet a, a kickback, I'm sure, or advertising rate or whatever. But... At any rate, it goes to that site, and that helps NerdWallet. That's fun. I like NerdWallet. It's, a, it's got a lot of good articles, like I said. And you can just open your account by clicking here. You fill in your information, and it wants my login information. So it's 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 pretty straightforward. You just fill in the information as as it says here. You make a user ID and a password. You give your mother's maiden name, of course, and select a question, security question, and answer. And then you'll need to acknowledge this. And down here below, you'll have to fill out in all these as well. You'll have to make sure that you read them and click on them, or else you won't be able to complete it. And then you submit. So, like I said, Barclays has got a great interface, and uh, I'm going to see if I can show you that here. Let's see what we got so far. So, what I've had to do here is is uh, make a screenshot so I could blink these things out. But when you get into your account, your savings account, this is what you're going to have. All right, you can go to the external accounts here and uh, connect to another bank. So if you have a checking account, that's what you'd want to do. You'd want to connect it to that. 
because chances are your bank that you have is not going to be giving you interest on your money. So the whole reason for having a savings account is to get interest, 1.7% interest. Now that's not going to make you rich, it's not necessarily going to make you a ton of money, but it, it is going to give you a return on your on what money you have sitting around. So if you put it under your mattress, for example, you wouldn't get anything back on it. And uh, if you put it, you know, in uh, a regular checking account, you're likely not going to have any, any return on it either. But some, some checking accounts do give uh, a return. I think mine gives 0.01% you know, or something. It's it's ridiculous. It's it's not worth it. But this has 1.7% return. So on $100 sitting in there for a year, you'd get $1.70 back. So you can divide that up over the 12 months, $1.70, right? Divided, or divided by 12. So every month that you have... A uh, hundred dollars sitting in there, you're basically going to get 14 cents, and uh, that's why you'd want to have that in a savings account. And it is your first step to getting used to, uh, or or becoming a responsible financial person is having a savings account. So you want a savings account in case something bad happens. Say your car breaks down, you need to get it fixed. Well, you don't want to be going borrowing money off of someone else or getting a credit card or or using that. Um, the first thing you'd want to go go to is your savings account. Get money out of there to uh, do that, so you're not going into debt. And uh, what I recommend, if you're following my program, is that you would do this for six months. You, we're putting forty dollars a month into uh, the video portfolio, which is on in another video, and I'll, I'll point it out up here. Um, I'll I'll put a card for it. But what's what's happening is is that uh, that forty dollars is going towards investments? Well, your first forty at first you want your forty dollars a month going into savings. You want to get you want to you want to build up a uh, a habit of saving money, right? And that forty dollars a month, if you're following that program, it, obviously you could put more or less, whatever you need to do. Anything is is better than nothing. But uh, you know the forty dollars a month in, in the program that we're doing that we're putting into the um, investments right now could be going into here. And then after six months or so, you know, you got a little bit of, of cash built up, right? So about 240 bucks sitting in there. Okay, great. So now what do I want to do? The next step is going to be getting, in, in, in my program and what I recommend, is, is going to be getting certificates of deposit. And certificate of deposit we're going to talk about in the next video. So, uh, yeah. For this one, we'll just keep it to the savings account, and then the next one we'll talk about the certificates of deposit. But uh, like I said, it's the first step, getting used to saving your money, putting it away, and after you have a little bit built up, then you can go on to the next step, which is certificates of deposit. After you've got your system built up of uh, your ladder of certificates of deposit, you're also going to have your savings that's been building money over time. Then you could start the investments, and we're doing the ETFs, and... Uh, in the other series and once once you get uh, your your savings account your certificates of deposit you're ready for investing and hopefully this helps out you can see where, where to go what to do and we'll be talking about certificates of deposit next video and thanks for watching